What's happening, Hardscapers? Today, we got some product delivery. We're doing the banding around the pool. Let's get into this. So you can see here, I already started and laid the banding to the pool. Now we're doing this cool mixture of a shale gray and an onyx black. And these are Squadra. They are three and a half by three and a half, I believe. So it gives us a nice banding around the pool. Now the reason why I really like doing banding is that when we are going to be laying our slabs up to the coping, this banding gives us a little bit of wiggle room with those slabs to be able to set the slabs over top of this banding or maybe even pick up the banding and lay the slab and put the banding back on top to draw a line and then to just cut in place. We can't quite do that with the coping. We could, it's just a little bit more time consuming. The banding gives us that flexibility in being able to remove it and then draw nice sweeping curves in those slabs to cut them in place. Coping, I like to have it adhered beforehand, but if we weren't doing this banding, if we were going straight from slab to coping, we would have to leave it unadhered. It's just much nicer to be able to have this banding to pick up, lay the slab, put it on top of the slab, draw our lines, cut in place, remove the cut, put the banding down, much like you would do with a border by laying the border on top, laying past your border with your field pavers and then laying the border on top, drawing a line, pushing that border back and then cutting. That's the same concept that we're rolling with here with having this banding. It's also gonna be nice. It's a random mixture, as you can see here, of shale gray onyx black. And we're gonna match that with what we're doing in the back retaining wall that we're gonna be building shortly here. That's also going to be a gray nickel and an onyx black mixture as well as the fire pit and we're gonna put the squadra around the fire pit as well. So we're just trying to tie in a bunch of different elements that will be available in this backyard. So this is unadhered. Eventually we will have gator base matching the height of the concrete and then the slab will bridge that gap over top of this. We'll have a little bit of sand on top. We'll have non-woven geotextile coming around. We'll probably actually adhere these as well as the coping of the pool for this, but that's also a game time decision for me. Me. We might just remove these once again, put the non-woven geotextile from the coping down and put a little bit of mason sand that's fine enough because we don't need much. These are actually flush already with the coping. So we're just looking for enough to give us a little bit of drainage away. Sometimes it works out where delivery is just perfect timing. You can see in this time lapse here, bin delivery pickup came as well as at the same time in the background we're getting our product delivery i did not expect that to work as it did and sometimes things work out in your favor which hasn't been happening a lot on this project though I'm filming this a little bit later after actually installing a bit of the wall here, but you can see the what I'm trying to tie in here, this purpose of this banding with the mixed random colors because we're also trying to tie that into the wall as well as the border stone will also be onyx black and then the slabs will be the shale gray. So we're mixing those grays and the blacks to kind of give this a nice uh, cohesive appeal with the wall with also where the fire pit's gonna be and making it the exact same product with the same mixture. And then the squadra will also be around that fire pit. So just mixing all these different elements to make it more cohesive from every aspect of this project. Now I'm a big fan of grays, blacks. So 
I really enjoy designing with grays and blacks. It takes the element of trying to match the house color into this whole design, grays and blacks. It goes with a lot of different concepts, designs, especially a modern design, which is what we're going for with this project. So all of that being said, this is the design concept that I went with this project. The banding essentially helps us with laying and cutting. So with this, when we lay our slabs up to these, we can actually remove these, lay the slabs right up to the coping, place these on top, draw a line and cut them, or essentially we can lay right on top of them, draw our line, cut in place, and let that go down into place. The reason why this banding helps is it gives us a little bit more room. So for example, if this banding wasn't here and we were laying a slab here and there was maybe just a little sliver of slab that slab would be hanging well over this coping piece which makes it a little bit tricky to be able to cut that in place and then you're getting into taking measurements and trying to get that curve right but this banding with a curved pool especially really helps give us that little bit of wiggle room from the banding to the coping piece because i know with our measurement especially right here we're going to have a border piece and then for the majority of this will be the slab and then uh, about a six inch sliver along here again that's going to happen no matter what because you can see as this continues along here it opens up quite a bit so no matter what there's going to be slivers somewhere it's going to be at this more smaller area here and then probably more as we go along there but it definitely has a steep curve there so less and less slivers and the less slivers we get the better we'll have a little bit of cutting to do in the corners there other than that we are good all the way through here we've got quite a bit remaining but i knew we'd have leftovers with ordering full pallets we do still have to do the border around the fire pit i did spray paint our fire pit where that's gonna land here after the pergolas you can see where the pergola post ends here we are waiting to be able to do that because i still have one more locate to get for those four foot piers and that's just been a pain dealing with the locate company with that so in the meantime i'll get this wired in i'll get this poured our diving board back in place and then i can continue this and maybe even adhere the coping while i'm waiting for the locates which should come in a couple of days hey i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give this video a like that really helps me with this channel any questions comments or concerns you may have leave it in the comment section below would love to hear from you and i respond to anybody and everybody that does leave a comment and anything that you think about this banding, let me know. And subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.